over 300 companies reporting this week, but which one should you be watching? I think the consumer is going to be a big factor here in this earning season and going forward. And so you're going to want to watch the consumer specific companies. What's going to happen on the reopening? How well will these companies rebound? Are some of them pandemic plays or are some of them post pandemic plays? Which ones are the ones to watch? Let's find out. So the first one you should be watching is Lithia Motors, ticker LAD. Now why Lithia? Because it's basically the first of the auto retailers to report. And look at this chart, it's insane. Not only do they have a great earning surprise track record during the pandemic with those four beats in a row there, but the shares obviously busting out to new all time highs. Now Lithia's shares aren't that expensive they're trading at about 19 times. So relatively speaking, given the run in the shares. And so you might expect that the E side of the equation has really you know, been boosted, which is true. We're all out there buying cars and it's very difficult to buy a new or used car. And that's what Lithium Motor sells. And additionally, if you can't buy a new one, you're having your old one repaired. That's also what they do. So this chart is not you know, out of the realm of reality here, but we're gonna see how much longer can this demand for cars continue. Uh, Lithia is the one to tune in on. Then we're gonna switch over to Pool Corporation. I've talked about Pool in the past, ticker P-O-O-L, because yes, they sell pools, plus all the accessories and outdoor type of things that you need to lounge around in your backyard and these shares have been on fire. Now they too have a good earnings surprise track record coming off a really big beat there last quarter, but the shares did weaken a bit here in 2021 as the growth names were hit on the 10 year yield rising. So we had that, but now look, it's turning itself around and trying to bust out again. It's still not cheap and it wasn't last quarter when I talked about it, still trading around 40 times, but there is the strong uh, E side again, underlying what's happening with pools. And a lot of people thought, you know, when economy reopens, we're gonna start to travel. We're not gonna wanna own the pool in the backyard, but that could be wrong. We will see what the company says this quarter, but a lot of people, even with the, the economy reopening, are still deciding to spend some time at home and really invest in what their home vacation can be like. So this is one to watch for that area of the consumer spending. Then we're gonna switch over to Whirlpool. So this is also a home play and look at these shares. They um, were treading water here during this whole period as well until recently. And now they too are busting out to a new five year high. And some of that was because everyone thought oh, on the reopen and the pandemic home buying is might be over. And so we won't need those appliances as much going forward. But that too, that scenario is turning out to be false. And home sales still elevated, especially new home sales. So anytime that happens, you will buy those new appliances. Also, there's really like a backlog on trying to get new appliances. And now we have the semiconductor shortage, which could impact some appliances as well. So it's, it's hard to get a new refrigerator or washer dryer or these things. So that could keep demand strong going forward as well. Now Whirlpool has a good track record. You can see the last miss was in 2018 and it's also a cheap stock. I can't believe I'm saying that, but the PE is just 11.6 here, even though these shares are up 30% year to date. So that E very strong growth here and we'll see if they are seeing that continue on here into the middle of 2021. Then we're gonna switch over to the restaurant chains, the area hardest hit during the pandemic, but you wouldn't really know by this chart, right? Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, I used to call it the beast of the restaurants, the king of them all. Then Domino's kind of supplanted it, but now they've got a back and forth going about who is really the king. Well, this chart is making a strong case for Chipotle here. Yeah, they're coming off that rare miss last quarter. It was kind of surprising, but everybody really cares about is comps with the restaurant chains, the year over year comparables. 
and those have been sh swiftly improving here. And don't forget, now that we're heading into this quarter that is the first pandemic impacted quarter, the comps are going to be a lot better here in the beginning, in this you know first and second quarters of this year, because those comps were really bad from last year. So keep that in mind, too, when you're watching this earnings report come out. Um, year to date, these shares are up 10.7 percent, really just testing that high there. We will see if we're going to get a breakout here. Then we're going to switch over to more retail tractor supply. This, too, has been one of the hotter retails after, you know, also doing the treading water dance there for a couple of months. And now we've got the breakout here. Year to date, these shares are up 28 percent again after a nice rally in 2020. But they have put together a string of four meets or beats here. But the question you have to ask on some of these retailers that have charts like this, even if they're a pan pandemic winner and a post pandemic winner, they're pretty pricey here trading at 27 times. How much are you willing to pay for these retail earnings? That's going to be the question going forward. And we will see. So there's a lot going on with the consumer and there's even more names than just what I included on this video. So you definitely want to tune in because I'm going to be covering more of this area because it is the most interesting, I think, of this earning season. What will the consumer be doing? They have a lot of firepower on hold. They've saved several trillion dollars in the last year and they're going to be deploying it. So which areas will it be going in? Those are going to be some stocks that could be a buying opportunity. So be sure to subscribe to get all of our earnings all-stars videos. You can get them all on YouTube at zax.com slash YouTube and subscribe there at Zax Investment Research. And I'll see you again with more charts.